Hello, and welcome to this presentation using Python with Rodin Schwartz Oscilloscopes. In this short presentation, we'll show you how to remotely control Rodin Schwartz Oscilloscopes using Python and the RS Instrument module. Remote control of test and measurement instruments involves both sending commands to an instrument, as well as retrieving measurement data or configuration information from an instrument. In almost all modern instruments, this is done over a LAN interface by means of standardized plain text skippy commands. Many different programming languages can be used to create, send, receive, and parse these text strings, but in this presentation, we'll show how this can be done using Python. Three software packages are needed. A Python installation, preferably version 3.8 or higher, the RS instrument module, which can be installed using the standard Python pip command, and a test and measurement visa library, such as RNS visa, which is available from the Rodian Schwartz website. Once these are installed, we can connect to our instrument, here in MXO series oscilloscope, by creating a new RS instrument object, which we'll call scope. The IP address or host name is passed as a parameter. We can then use write to write commands without getting a response, and or we can use query to both query the instrument and to receive a response. Let's look at some simple examples of how these two functions are used. Here's an example of using write. After connecting to the scope, we can preset or return it to its default settings by sending the string asterisk rst. And we can have the scope auto set or attempt to automatically configure basic acquisition settings by sending the string auto scale. We use write because in both cases we don't need and aren't expecting any response from the scope. Let's see this in action. When we run our Python script containing these two write commands, the MXO executes a preset and then an auto set so that we get an appropriately scaled, stable representation of the acquired waveform on our scope screen. Now let's look at sending a query and receiving a response. We start by sending two commands to the scope. The first says that the source of the measurement is channel 1, and the second says that we want to measure frequency. In both cases we use write because we don't need or don't expect a response. But we use query when we ask the scope to return the measured frequency. Note that skippy commands associated with queries usually end in a question mark. We can assign this return value to the variable frequency, after which we can print, display, or otherwise use this value in our program. Here's what this looks like on the scope. We run our script, which uses write to tell the scope to measure frequency on channel 1, and then uses query to query and retrieve the current frequency, which our program then prints out on the screen. Let's summarize what we've covered. Remote control can be used to configure or retrieve information from Rodin Schwartz instruments using standard Skippy commands and Python or other programming languages. In this presentation, we showed how the RS Instrument Python module makes it easy to get started with remote control. Use write to send commands to an instrument and query to both send commands and receive data. More information about the RS Instrument module can be found at the link provided and instrument user manuals contain comprehensive documentation, as well as examples of supported Skippy commands. This concludes our presentation using Python with Rodian Schwartz Oscilloscopes. Thanks for watching.